So, Honor Hammer 26 here, and I'm here to give you my Enter the Dragon review. Um, this was a perfect show. Uh, just great wrestling keeps me awake, and bad wrestling puts me to sleep. This show kept me awake. It is 12, like 12:25 in the morning. It's 12:22 on my clock, and I am wide awake. And I'm and I was incredibly tired from school about two two hours ago. It is amazing. Just this show from top to bottom, I couldn't think of one thing that I would change from it. it oh, wow. Start off the night with the worst match of the night, which it was not a bad match at all. BB Hulk and Yamato. Uh, this is a very stiff opener, very great way to start off the show. BB Hulk did have a grand entrance with one of his dancers being uh, Daisy Hayes. And Yamato was kind of even a face in America just because, oh, one thing, this crowd was just awesome from start to finish. The crowd was awesome. Great match, a great open between, between these two. I'm going to give this uh, opener three and a half. Uh, this is one of the best openers I've seen ever. Just just great way to start the show. Then we got a Chikara eight man. Uh, um, team one was Mike Quackenbush, Jigsaw, Carpenter Ant, no, not Carpenter Ant, Soldier Ant, Fire Ant versus uh, Icarus, Granakuma, Hallow Wicked, and Amasis. This match was great. This showed why Chikara is in the big leagues of professional wrestling. All, all of these men did great in this match. And just, Mike Quackenbush did his thing. Fire Ant looked great. Jigsaw. Man, and Icarus looked, Icarus looked impressive. Uh, I was very impressed with Icarus in this match. Um, Hell Wicked was his normal self. It just, this match is four stars. Just, wow. Just showed why Chikara is, rising up the ranks, and I just can't get it enough. Just a very X-Division or Lucha-style in Japan, incorporated American wrestling. Just a great, great, great match. Then next we got um, a match that uh, I was expecting probably to, probably to be match of the night. It wasn't. Uh, this is how good that this card was, but it was still a great match. Uh, Dragon Kid versus Masato Yoshino. Uh, this match was actually uh, four and one-quarter stars, and this would have was on my match of the year countdown as 10 uh, after this match, as the 10th match. This was better than uh, Kent and Roderick Strong versus uh, the American Wolves from Violent Tendencies. This, this is how good that match was. And, oh, man. Uh, these are usually the two people in the uh, Ring of Honor, Dragon Gate six mans that usually are the MVPs in the match. And they, these are the two probably two fastest wrestlers in the world, or two of the fastest wrestlers in the world. And just they just flew in this match. They were just... Great, great, great moves. I, uh, Dragon did a deja vu. Uh, there were a couple things in this match where I said, wow, I haven't seen that in a long time. Or I think it said a couple times, I haven't seen that before. And it was just, this entire card made me say, I haven't seen anything like this in a very, very long time. And right now, this is show of the year. But uh, four and a quarter stars to Dragon Kid and Masato Yoshino. Just oh, great, great stuff. I mean, if, if you're not ordering this pay-per-view, I feel sorry for you. Then next we got Match of the Night, and this match, um, Dragon Kingdom is obviously the last one match on my Match of the Year countdown. Young Bucks versus Yokozuka and Shima. Uh, wow, this is this is some of the best tag team wrestling. I think this is my second best tag team match this year behind American Wolves versus Danielson and Black. Just, oh god. This is better than Kenta and Shiyazaki versus Kensuke Office, in my opinion. Just this is a strong four and a half stars. So the Young Bucks are on, and they are such, such being such great ta such a great tag team. Shima was his great self. Yokozuka has gotten so much better, and it showed in this match. He hung with all the rest of the three of the men. It was it was great, and uh, just a lot of this card just left me speechless. I mean, I'm not the type of wrestling fan that is usually speechless. Just it was amazing, an amazing, amazing card. Um, but this is the match of the night from the card. Um, just a great tag team moves. I th uh, there was some crazy, crazy dives. A lot of good impact. Um, there was a lot of super kicks, a lot of uh, drop kicks. Um, uh, the right team went over. Just this match was perfectly booked. It got the right amount of time. Just all the factors in this card played out, and especially on this match. I just can't condone buying this card enough. And just this match made me just go insane. Four and a half. Great job to all four, uh, four of those men. Then we got the main event of the night. Um, 
Naruki Doi, who was the Open the Dream Game champion in Japan, which is their top championship in Dragon Gate, versus uh, Shingo. This is, again, four and a half stars. This is uh, four and a quarter. Uh, uh, actually, I'll give it at four and a half. Uh, just, jeez. Um, this was great. Uh, this would have made my match of the year countdown if it wasn't for uh, Kenta Nakajima. This is this match was 11th, is 11th this year. Um, just, oh, God. Just, Doi is Dragon Gate Trust of the Year right now. He's just putting on so many great matches. And Shingo's probably second on that list, maybe. Just, oh, these two just have such a great rivalry. Brought to the United States and just flew very stiff. And had and Shingo's probably one of the fastest big guys I've ever seen. Ricky Doi's always been fast. These two just flew. It was great. I love this match. Four and a half stars. Wasn't as good as a four and a half star as uh, uh, Young Bucks versus uh, Shima, and Yoko, Shima and Yokozuka. And this match was four and a half stars, and it doesn't make my countdown. That's how great of matches that we've had this year. And if I had told you that this card is a 10, this is probably the first card rated a 10 in a very, very long time. Probably since Man Up. I think is the first card rated. This is the first card rated ten since Man Up. Just wow, great wrestling here. I'll be back probably Monday, I guess, with my Nigel video. Uh, just order this pay per view. You're doing yourself a fa you're doing yourself a huge favor as a wrestling fan. I'll see you guys later.